family and uh, Riel are synonymous in the sense that we're all about family. While many Canadians are enjoying a long weekend, with it being Family Day in five other provinces, here in Manitoba, we're celebrating Lou Riel Day, honoring the founder of Manitoba and a prominent political leader of the Métis people. Lou Riel made significant contributions to both Manitoba and Canada, fighting to protect the lands and rights of the Red River Métis. Riel was also the leader of two resistance movements, and at just the age of 25, he led an uprising and formed the Provisional Government, presenting Canada with a Bill of Rights, known today as the Manitoba Act. As he said to the government of Upper Canada, we have a government in, in, in staging right now. We have a government operation. We don't need your government. We're doing very well out here in the Northwest. So we truly were uh, prosperous as a people in the Northwest. However, he was tried, convicted, and hanged at the Northwest Mounted Police Barracks in Regina on November 16, 1885, for his resistance. And at the time, he was seen as a traitor. He was just 41 years old when he was killed. All of it starts with the great leader of L'Oreal who decided to stand up for the per people in the prairies. And of course, Upper Canada did not really care about it. That's why this East West Division still exists today. And uh, so it's uh, an issue of understanding that the importance of, uh, of Riel is the importance of family. Riel's legacy and his vision to protect the rights of the Métis people is still very much alive today. In 2016, Manitoba recognized Riel as the father of Confederation and the founder of the province. Land acknowledgements are now said before many events, including recognizing Winnipeg as the homeland of the Métis Nation and the Métis flag permanently flies at Winnipeg City Hall. <laughs> Riel's legacy is also remembered at places like Winnipeg St. Boniface Museum, where artifacts of Riel are out on display. That conversation of where we came from is very important, and those artifacts have stories to tell. Cindy Desrochet, the director of St. Boniface Museum, says it's important to preserve and honour the history of Lou Riel. Through those artifacts, we can share those stories, we can educate people, we find wonderful ways of being able to make a situation that happened 160 years ago sort of come to light and figure out what were people living through and why it happened and how can we change things going forward. Real Day is about family, it's about uniting uh, and remembering our past and, and seeking where our future is taking us because of our past. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News.